Kentucky has had some amazing sports champions over the years. Muhammad Ali, multiple UK basketball teams, derby winning horses. But there's one group of champions you may not be aware of. A quiet but dedicated group in Monroe County. Sharpshooters who love to share their spirit of the bluegrass. This may look like a funky old shack that sits way back in the middle of a field, but in Monroe County, it's the premier sports arena, the Marble Superdome. The marble capital of the world. They used to think Moss, Tennessee was, but I, I think Monroe County is now. This is where grown men get down and dirty. Yeah, you don't want to wear any good clothes. <laughs> and play a game called Rolly Hole. It's sort of like croquet. You try to get your marble in a hole and knock your opponents out of contention. It's a great game. You got defense, offense, strategy, the whole shot right here. The dome has been a hangout since 1988. There's a whole bunch of us just got together and throwed it up. But folks were playing marbles around Tompkinsville well before the dome was built. It used to have over 100 members. Billy Emberton is one of the regulars. So is his brother Robert. That's a pretty one. They treasure their marbles handmade from flint. Some people can make one in two hours, but it takes me two weeks. <laughs> a glass marble would shatter with this kind of action. Some of these guys have been playing marbles for as long as they can remember, but they know if they want to keep the tradition alive, they need to get some younger guys interested. Billy's grandson Dylan is 21 and tries to talk it up with his peers. It's kind of hard nowadays with all this technology and stuff. But he says it should appeal to young athletes. If you get your exercise out here, getting up and down, you know, crawling around on the floor, you know, you always wanted to win. And right here is where you can do it at. You use every muscle in your body playing marbles. This is a tight-knit club with just a handful of members, but it's in no way exclusive. We like for people to come watch us. We're proud of our game. This may look like child's play, but these sharpshooters have been hooked for life. Hoping generations from now, people will still come to the dome to let the good times roll. <laughs> good shot. So just how good are they? Robert Emberton was part of a team of sharpshooters from Kentucky and Tennessee who were invited to the British Marbles Championship in London in 1992. And they became the first overseas team to win the overall trophy in the 400 year history of that event. It's probably a lot harder than it looks. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I couldn't begin to do it. Yeah, good for them getting up and down.